What's up? It's your boy Spiritual Socrates coming back with another video. You know, I don't have a camera. I haven't invested in too many things yet for this channel. You know, I only got like 19 subscribers. It's going up slowly. But I just wanted to give you guys some daily inspiration to tell you to just stay away from negative thoughts, stay away from negative situations, and just stay away from negative people. They're not going to serve you. They're only going to do bad for you. You know, that energy, you it's, it's very difficult to not be affected by someone else's energy. But there are ways to, to, cause when you're an empath, that's the type of person who is empathetic, who could walk into a building, walk into a room, and they feel everyone's energy. They, they feel the energy of the room. They're very, 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 um, what's the word? They're very sensitive to other people's, how, and how other people feel. So that, that those are people that can feel how you feel. So then they can feel more anxiety, more depression, sadness, happiness, whatever. They feel whatever you feel. They're empathetic. They're an empath. So the way to, to block negative energy is to not let it affect you by sticking to your own thoughts. Feeling like leaving yourself be. Just let yourself be in your natural state stick to your own thoughts and only let the positive thoughts do not ever finish a sentence with a negative a negative word do not ever finish a negative sentence always replace it with a positive affirmation always okay when you when a negative thought comes into your mind do not ever react on it let it pass and replace it with a positive thought you can turn any negative situation into a positive. You can do anything in this life. Everything that you do, every decision that you make governs your future and how it's going to look and how it's going to be. Someone makes a decision to pull the trigger, they kill somebody. Now they're in jail for life for murder. Everything is about decisions. That is what life is about, about what decisions you make. Every single decision you make governs every single life, um, every single experience and every single way your life will go. Remember, make the right decisions. That is number one. Make the right decisions so your tomorrow can be better than today. You know, read books, peel the book open, peel the Bible open. Even if you're not religious, even if you're not, I'm not religious, I'm a Bible believer. Even if you don't believe in God, the Bible has dietary laws, ceremonial laws, how to grow things, how to grow plants correctly. <laughs> They're destroying the planet. They destroyed the planet. They're destroying all the crops, filling it with Monsanto seeds. We got no seeds in our, uh, in our fruits and vegetables, which is not normal. So there's a proper way to fortify the land to grow things the right way. And they're not doing that. These people are pure psychopaths. They want to destroy the world. They want us to be destroyed. They do, they, they're against humanity. The powers that be are against humanity. So that's why I'm saying I do not understand how people can trust these people. They're the ones that are creating the drip. They're the ones that are creating the jab. They're the ones that are creating these things. And you and you, you, you go and get it? These people want you to die. They don't want you to be alive. They don't want you to be well. They want you to be unwell. They want you to suffice. They want you to, they want to decrease the population down to 500 million, below 500 million. The Georgia Gastons ain't lie, you know? <laughs> you know, it is what it is. You can listen to me or you can not listen to me. A lot of people are asleep. This video might not even be that great, but it's 10 times greater than how other people are. I mean, other people are not even thinking for themselves. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a voice over here, my people. I'm just here to tell you guys what it is, that the life we've been living has been a lie. Everything we've been told has been a lie. What's good is bad. What's bad is good these days. You know, they're, they're creating these crazy ass laws. Like this guy one day that was in prison decided, okay, I want to be a woman today. I want to get me some vagina. 
you know, he was bored of being around all these men. He's a straight man. He wanted to get himself some vagina. He told um, the uh, whatever, uh, the CO or the government or the, the police, whatever. He told the prisoner, the, what do they call that? The person that runs the prison. I'm sorry, guys, but the uh, whatever, right? He told them, hey, I'm actually a woman. <laughs> and they put him in a woman's jail. And guess what happened? His cellmate, which was a woman, got pregnant. He lied, you know? They're, made, they're creating these ridiculous laws. I mean, that's the world we're living in. You gotta understand, the truth is stranger than fiction. The truth is stranger than fiction. Now, I'm a wise man, and that's why I know to put these videos out. And I do this shit raw and cut. I don't even practice. I don't have anything written from before. I'm just here to talk to see if I can help people and this youth. I'm trying to help the youth. There is something going on with this fentanyl and it's everywhere, especially around my area. I'm from the Bay Area, California, Northern California Peninsula. And we're talking about, like when I was 14, I wasn't trying to take no, no pills, bro. No pharmaceutical pills, no nothing. I mean, the most we did at that age was smoke some marijuana which wasn't a good choice either. But like now we're talking about, dude, dude, dude. I just feel like it's like, okay, I understand that Mexico, um, it's come to, uh, that the fentanyl comes from Mexico and the reason that they're cutting everything with fentanyl and mixing it into all these drugs, like methamphetamine with fentanyl. I mean, what, what the hell's going on here? That's a speed ball. That's a downer and an upper. I mean, couldn't, they, I understand that the fentanyl is very cheap and easy and, and cheap to make in a lab and in an easy cutting agent to put into drugs. But come on, man. There's other things that are also freaking cheap, like baking soda that you can cut. So I don't feel like that's that's what it is. I feel like something is going on with the gov some government. The government is behind this. They want all the drugs mixed with fentanyl. So the, so the, the depopulation, bro, the drip drip. The drip drip, the arm shot, yeah, that I mean. The drip drip, that is for depopulation. Now, since I know that that's for depopulation from the research I have done, and, and I wish I could show you guys, but I am not at the point of my YouTube journey and my channel to have a, a, whole, a whole setup with, you know what I'm saying? To, to say fair use and to show you videos, I'll get there at some point. This is the beginning. And I hope you guys, whatever subscribers I have currently, I hope you guys spread the word and stick with me and understand that I have a lot to tell you guys and that more wisdom, more truth, more facts will be coming. I'll get better at this. Just stick with me, all right? So basically, my, my theory is that they're cutting everything with fentanyl, right? Why weren't they doing that before? It's like, there's always money. Um, you could cut cocaine with with baking soda, with there's other things that are cheap and easy to get that you can cut it with. Now that's why I feel like this is a conspiracy because they're cutting it with a drug that you have to have a seriously high tolerance to opioids to be able to handle this drug. And not only that, even with the seriously high tolerance, there are different versions of the fentanyl that are even stronger than the original, like the fentanyl that you would get from a doctor, the patch that you put on your arm, they have lollipops, pills, whatever, right? That's regular, that's fentanyl, right? Now they have car fentanyl, they have all these different versions that are even stronger. So it's basically like poison, bro. They're poisoning their clients to make money, but how does that make sense when you're not gonna get any returning customers? You're just killing people for money. Now, I don't think that's a really good business um, straight strategy, an illegal business strategy. The strategy is, you cut the drugs, and this is all bad, but my point is you cut the drugs with a cutting agent, but you, you make sure that the drug is cocaine with a cut with, you know, potassium, whatever. So the people can come back and buy more. You don't cut it with something that'll kill somebody. It's all over the schools. It's killing our youth. These kids are, are being told by somebody. I mean, of course, the music, just like DMX said, bro, why do you have to talk about the drugs you use? Whatever you do, keep that shit to yourself. Keep that shit to the side. Don't You don't need to talk about it in your music. That's not hip hop. Papa Percocet, Molly Percocet, Molly Percocet, Percocet. And when you say that, they're gonna think about that. They're gonna look up to you and they're gonna wanna take that. You know, Future is a fraud. That motherfucker doesn't even take any of the drugs he talks about. He doesn't even sip, sir. 
You know, Lil Wayne, he influenced me, bro. I was, I, I thought I was cool. You know, I would go to the doctor. He had a video one time saying, what do you, don't, don't you go and get your drink from uh, your sir from, uh, you know, the, the girl up down the street or your homie who got the plug. You know where I get mine from, he said? And he shows the bottle with his name on it, the pharmacy, dude. And I had my bottle, you know, of this promethazine with coating with my name on it from the pharmacy. I don't do this to be cool. I did this because I was see, like, I was, I convinced myself that like, yeah, I'm the same way. And I felt cool because he was doing it and stuff like, so we're influenced by these entertainers, right? So whatever they do or say is gonna be influenced to us. So now you're saying Percocet, Percocet, but the Percocets, on the, <laughs> when you get it, they're perfectly pressed. They look like a regular Perc 30, but they're not. You know what they really are? They're, 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 how are you doing? They're filled with fentanyl. You can't trust any, dude, the fucking, excuse my language, these homeless people, right? They, oh, they died. They were, they, they were meth users, but they died because they're, the meth had fentanyl in it. What the hell's going on? Dude, come on, man. This, there's some government, they're behind this. They are trying to kill as many people as possible in as many ways as possible. Through the, through the jab, through, they're trying to kill our youth, through the fentanyl, because they probably know that, you know, our youth isn't gonna really take the jab. Not as many are, so let's, they're just trying to flush us all out. To, to, come on, it just, it just doesn't it seem kind of weird that this whole fentanyl thing and how everything is mixed with fentanyl has been going on just lately and recently from 2018, 2019, 2020, it spiked like 20,000 percent. A hundred thousand people died within a, like six months from accidental overdoses. Like this isn't a joke. Things, it's just, it's not a coincidence that this is happening at the time of the pandemic, at the time of these, uh, which we don't know what's in them, where, where people are getting magnets stuck to them, where this doctor went on the internet and, and, and got one viral talking about the jizzab and what it does what it does to you and how long you have to live if you've taken it and how, we, and how it lowers your immune system by 15% with the first, first drip, 45% by the second drip. You take a booster drip, then go take the flu drip and you're dead drip, you're dead. No one wants to listen. They uh, created a society that no longer thinks for themselves. They hear it, believe it, go, that's it. They hear it, believe it, no critical thinking skills. The skills that we have, they don't use anymore. They hear it, believe it, and do it. 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 They trust the government like it's their grandmother. Are you kidding me? Do you, do you know about the history of what, what has happened? How many people have died? How many FDA approved products ended up causing cancer? How Bayer, that pharmaceutical company that makes the aspirin, gave uh, thousands of people AIDS in the 80s when, they, when, when, when their fucking pills, when their aspirins were filled with, with HIV, they had AIDS in them. Where ranitidine, the, the I suffered from heartburn. I was taking that for a year straight. Thank God I didn't get cancer. It causes cancer. Just because something's FDA approved doesn't mean it's good for you, bro. You're taking a chemical, bro. I mean, I don't believe anybody who's of the most high who believes in God um, is... is um, if you take that, I don't believe you're of God. You know, if you take the drip. it's, it's an, Our bodies are... are um, the, for the Lord's. They don't belong to us. They belong to God. They're gods, they're the temple of God. So we're supposed to keep our bodies pure of everything. And I'm, I'm not perfect. I mean, sometimes I, I, you know, I suffer from anxiety still. And sometimes I take like a, you know, a Xanax that I have from a doctor left over, for example. And I'm trying to become stronger mentally. I know that I don't, I can, I can not take it. I can, I can deal with the anxiety, 
But you know, you got work, you, you got all this stress, you got all these things. Um, but basically, the, the thing you got to work on, guys, is fear. You need to you need to make sure that they these people, these powers that be, the inorganic ones, they live off our fear. Without our fear, they can't survive. That's why that's all they push is fear. They push fear on the news, fear everywhere, fear, fear, fear. All they show you is trauma, tragedy, trauma, trauma, tragedy, trauma, death, trauma on the on the news. That's why I don't watch the news because I like to keep my vibration as high as possible. You know what I'm saying? I like to stay in the nature, take a walk, take a run. You know what I'm saying? Get that, get those the blood flowing, feeling good. You know, those endorphins flowing, the good, the feel good chemicals, the dopamine and all that, that people use drugs to get. I get it from nature. I get it from, from um, exercising it from natural ways. And by the way, if you want to heal yourself, remember what Dr. CB did. He was impotent, had like some type of cancer and all this stuff at the age of 30. And after, after finding out all that, he traveled the world and met herbalists around the entire world. And he cured himself. He stopped eating meat. He found, he, he researched it on all these different herbs that exist. He healed himself. I use his products. Go to CB's, Dr. CB Cell Food. S-E-B-I is his name. Dr. CB Cell Food, rest in peace. Think about if he was here right now, if he existed. If he was alive right now during these times, what he would have done. That man cured 13 people of AIDS, cancer, and blindness. Like he was Jesus from herbs. They arrested him and he died in prison because he ain't going to eat that food. He has a special diet and, you know, rest in peace, God rest his soul. You know, just you, remember, guys, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. You understand? The world is in reverse these days. What's good is bad. What's bad is good. Okay? You are not a good mother. Having your little three-year-old daughter or son wearing a mask. That is not good. You're suffocating them. You're making them breathe in their own freaking, their own, uh, their own. We're, we're supposed to breathe out the toxins and breathe in. We're supposed to breathe out our breath, uh, which breathes out, releases the toxins. And we're supposed to breathe in new carbon dioxide, new air. Okay? We're creating carbon monoxide by, by recycling our own breath. You put that on a three-year-old, you know what the mask was made for? In the back in the day, in the, in the slave days, they used to put a muzzle on the face of the, of the slave to punish them, to silence them. It was a form of punishment. That's, what we're, that's what's going on. They're punishing us because we're waking up. The whole world is waking up and understanding what's really going on, what's happening, what's really the truth. And since we're waking up, they're punishing us. They want us to suffer. They want, you know what I'm saying? Just that, like the book 1984, um, George Orwell said, imagine the future, the future of the world, or the future of America. The future of the world is a, is a boot stomping on a human head forever. They don't want us to be free. They want to create a concrete jungle. You, have, you haven't seen nothing yet. Many will, many will not make it. What they call me, the person who will never, ever, ever take the V, ever take the jab, is a person who's a pure blood. I rely on the Lord to protect me, and I rely on my strong immune system that I keep strong by eating right, taking vitamin supplements, and keep it strong as hell, and I haven't had a sniffle since I was 12. <laughs> what the hell? And I'm also a rapper making major mail. And I got money for the bail. And I got a lot of stories to tell. But you know what? I'm going to heaven and not hell. And my kush, it had a good smell. But I don't smoke that stuff anymore. Oh well. Because it opens demon portals. And I don't need that stuff. And on Dre Legacy, just by walking, I get a rush. Yeah, so I'm going to use my platform also to uh, push my music, guys. And I hope you got some type of edification from this. I know, you know, I'm not like, you know, I'm just starting out, but I would really appreciate your guys' support. I have a lot to say. I'm very talented. I, I'm, I'm an actor, a comedian, a musician, and I'm a, I'm a spiritual leader. I'm a leader and I'm a, you know, I'm a motivational speaker. Just getting, I'm just starting, man. 
I would appreciate the support from all you, you guys. And I appreciate every single subscriber that I have. I appreciate that you get some type of edification from what I talk about. And and um, don't I'll be coming back with more, baby. Believe that. Believe that. I love all of you. Stay safe out there. Think outside the box. Stay positive. Love, happiness, positivity. All right, guys? Spiritual Socrates, signing out. Peace.